Espresso is the fundamental ingredient to every coffee beverage we love, so it has to be good. With your Beans subscription, you're getting incredible coffees with every delivery, and they need to be dialed in to get the best flavors possible. I'm Sarah Dooley, here to help you dial in your next coffee. Let's dial in Berica by Boon Buna on the Barista Touch. Now, assuming you've already placed a single wall double basket in the portafilter, and you selected the double shot button, then you're ready to brew with me. Here's what my bar setup looks like from accessories to placement. Pause here if you need a minute to set yourself up for the brew along. At minimum, grab a dry towel. So I've got Berica blend by Boon Buna in this hopper. And what I've noticed while dialing it in is it's super sweet graham cracker sweetness with a dried fruit aftertaste. You are gonna love this coffee. My grinder is set at a 13 and yours may be different and that's okay. Let's start with the brew first. Remove the portafilter and just dry it out. All right, grab the dosing funnel. This is a great way to keep all the coffee in the basket while you're grinding for less mess. We're gonna do two things over here, pretty simple. We're gonna grind and purge the brew group for two seconds, just to refresh the system. So grind and purge. My brew recipe is 18 grams of freshly ground coffee, 25 to 30 seconds of brew time, and that will yield just under two ounces of espresso in the cup. It's gonna look like you have a lot of coffee in the basket, but that's also why we left the dosing funnel on, so we can settle the bed without spilling. Tap the edges of the basket and move it around and settle it like you would a cake pan. Remove the dosing funnel. Going in for that tamp. This is a pretty fun and simple process. So, align your wrist and elbow in a straight line as best you can, thumbs facing each other, and just come into the bed and press until it stops moving or pushes back at you. And that is tamping in a nutshell. Let's check our dose using this razor tool. Come over to your knock box and just give it a little twist above the surface of the bed and any excess coffee, gently nudge it into the knock box. All right, let's give it a quick polish. This is a no pressure finish polish, just a little twist. Wipe any excess coffee from the basket off just so you ensure that watertight seal. Let's insert, press the brew button, and grab a cup. You shouldn't see the first drop of espresso until around the seven to nine second mark. The machine starts at a low pressure and water is moved through the puck up to high pressure. That's called pre-infusion. This will result in a slow saturation of the bed and a full extraction of sugars, acids, omegas, and lipids that make up a delicious espresso. And there it is. That's the shot I was looking for. Smells amazing. All right, let's taste our work. Mm. It's super balanced and smooth. I'm getting this like really silky mouthfeel. This coffee has the sweetness of graham crackers. It's got a hint of chocolate and I can even taste a little bit of stone fruit. It's like a dried fruit flavor, so good. Mm. Wow. Did your shot look and taste like mine? The number one goal of adjusting the grind is to either slow down or speed up the flow of water through the coffee bed. Don't be afraid of this step. We can always adjust it back. If the water flow is too fast, the coffee may taste sour. Adjust the grind a couple of notches finer to slow down the water flow through the bed. If the flow is too slow, the coffee could taste bitter or roasty. Adjust the grind a couple of notches coarser to speed up the flow of water through the coffee bed. Over time, all these steps will become second nature and you'll go from having good coffee sometimes to great coffee every time. I'm Sarah Dooley, here to help you dial in your next coffee.